say this competition is, is quite a bit different than a normal project that we work at work because we don't have any access to the developers or the product owner um, or any of the requirements beforehand, right? Since we don't know what the application is all about, it's all about finding it, then working as a team together to define our strategy, the scope of the testing that we're going to do, and then work from there. Uh, because it's all so fast, you know, you have like 20 minutes or 30 minutes to set everything up. Oh, we have the app, we have to configure some tools and things like that. Uh, what makes what is a little bit different with us is we actually form part of the specialist team in the department. So we do all of the non-functional testing, uh, security, LMP, uh, performance, um, and so we haven't we don't focus on functionality a lot. So for us, it's very exciting to be back and actually get into an app from a user experience point of view that we normally run through the back end. We do the Agile approach here, uh, Agile strategy, because we're doing uh, real sessions with stand-ups to, uh, to get our stuff together and... Uh, yeah. Focus areas, and everybody has a speciality. Right job to the right guy. <laughs> do what you do best, man. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> we, yeah, we practice a lot and we are pretty confident of, of ourselves. And I think we're, um, I think we're ready for that. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm from Movil. We are a mobility company. Uh, we are a Daimler-owned company. And uh, the product that the guys are testing in the background is the Movil app, which is a mobility app that tries to consolidate mobility services like bike sharing, car sharing, services, public transit um, authorities, as well as, for example, uh, train tickets. So uh, yeah, that's our product. Uh, it's been around for approximately five years. So it's actually pretty old for an app if you think about it. And work in real life be it in an agile environment or traditionally, you never have enough time. You might have more than three hours, but you never have <laughs> enough time. So it simulates in a micro version uh, the decisions you need to make, what is important, what not, what to report, what to leave out. Um, and I think that's also some takeaway they take, that it's okay to make this decision, to be or give the best feedback to customers um, as you can do. The time pressure, conditions of uncertainty and ambiguity. So this is cauldron of, ah, I don't know what's happening. And um, you've got to make tough trade-offs in terms of do you, what, what do you invest your time into for testing? What strategies do you use? And then how much time do you invest in the test report? Uh, how, how detailed do you make your bug reports? All that is completely up to the attendees. Since we always try to make it also a little bit more active, than just people sitting on a computer. Uh, we are lucky that we got this year um, a mobile app, so for once, uh, which is a little bit different than regular websites or desktop applications. Plus also since it involves um, some kind of GPS uh, location system, um, we actually managed to get two automotives, two cars. Uh, which play a part in the in the application. So we hope that it uh, also triggers uh, more test ideas, more interaction with the system um, than just testing a regular website. So it's a nice combination of still having an app version to test, but also some element which gives these wow element, like we can do that, we have a car on the stage, that's great. Now I'm just setting everything up to get a taxi and then the taxi and do a round trip. Oh, <laughs> I mean, awesome. Very good. I hope to see things interesting. We are able to find bugs. It's mm -hmm. all, always a good sign for a tester. Yes, the, the bug terrier. Yeah, 
This is our musket, we call him Bugsy. Yeah, we just broke it into what box, like boxes of times and what we're going to be focusing on. Oh, that's great. Yes, we're trying to stick to this little page here. <laughs> the idea behind the mind map is that um, uh, we all start going each other's own direction and this mind map helps us give us focus and also the plan on what to do next. So are we doing the right thing at the right time? Therefore, that's the major idea behind it. I saw that you are performing some stand-up. Yeah. yeah, every we take time slots of uh, 30 minutes, and we found out by practicing that this for us is helping a lot, because sometimes you're way too focused, and then it's oh, one hour is gone, and that's maybe you're not doing the right thing at the right time. So. Okay. I'm Eisman Kape. I, uh, I work for VX Company, and, my, and I'm here. Um, as a business partner of crowdsource testing, who, is, uh, who has developed the lean testing software tool, and we're sponsoring the event because we want uh, uh, the testing community to, to adopt these tools, and that's why we've uh, decided to well uh, to sponsor the event. So I'm happy to be here. But what we're looking at right now, this is uh, specially made for the world finals. Uh, so this is an overview of uh, how the teams are currently working. So you see uh, an overview of all the bugs which have been raised by the, the teams which are now uh, competing against each other. Like you see, uh, pest control is rather productive, so in terms of the amount of bugs, they uh, are a winning team. Uh, but I'm sure I, what the I don't, don't know what the quality of the bugs is. So uh, we've given each team access to the, uh, to the lean testing environment. They have a separate uh, project environment where they can uh, submit their bugs in. So we have a look at the teams now, and I'm now opening a team of mentor graphics. And, uh, we'll be look, we're now looking at the at the dashboard of this team. And so far, uh, over the last one and a half hour, they have uh, raised 21 new defects. So this is kind of the dashboard environment. So you get a quick overview about how the team is performing. You see that they have raised uh, critical bugs, trivial bugs, a number of major bugs, and a couple of minor bugs. Well, it's up to the jury to uh, to judge these uh, defects, and we can um, we can look into the details of the bugs. And as you see here, you see a list of all the bugs which have been raised by the team. None of them have been evaluated yet, but uh, you can look at the list here. Okay, we're at, uh, outside with Omar, we're next to the car to go, which is an awesome, cool tool. Watching him be very impressive with his app. Can you describe to us what we just saw? Uh, actually, uh, with Moodle app, you can um, reserve a car to go. So, for example, if you want to go somewhere, meet a friend in the city, you just reserve with the Moodle app a car to go. Uh, car to go is reserved for you for 30 minutes. So, in these 30 minutes, you go to the car. The app takes you to that location where the car is. It shows you where it is. You go to the car with the app. You can open the car and you can hop in, uh, drive. Uh, and before, definitely, it has uh, I mean, you need to validate your driving license, you have to scan it, which you can do with the app. So, with one app, you can do scan the app, open the car, drive and uh, leave the car to go and end the rental. So, we did this to test with the, uh, the Android device and it worked. That's what we want, that we, we know that where, where, with which version of the software it's not working, uh, so we can fix it and our users don't have any problem. Uh, I found it also quite nice that later on they actually went out in the cold, it's still minus degrees here uh, and really took a long time to interact with the cars provided in the backyard and trying the GPS stuff out and the ordering etc. So yeah, I like the, the passion and energy. What amazed me was the complexity of the software because you've got to create a driver persona that's simulating a real driver of a real taxi and create a customer persona and you've got to interact with it through your laptop and through your phone and then get out of the car and see if it would work without actually spending any money, although you could sort of spend some money in development, you could use the right fake credit card, maybe sort of, unless you didn't. It was just an incredible amount of complexity and the teams were not going, what? What is happening? so confused. They were not doing that and um, that alone was, was a good thing. And it was really interesting to see the different testing strategies that they perform. Some, some of them use mind maps, other ones use some matrix with some boxes, and other team has checklists and post it. So I think it's going to be a challenge for us today to, to review all the material that they produce. So I think so far so good. <laughs> Ten bucks as a checklist turns out to be kind of silly. <laughs>
Just saying. Ten bucks. Anybody takers? No? We'll Not see. Not today. <laughs> You've got people that are in the process of panicking and so let's go check on them, see how they're doing. Just in a hurry to... Uh, to are you lying about feeling good? good. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is okay, but we are in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, we know. We're doing this to everybody just to be mean. We, we are trying to do our best for you. Here we are with South Africa team. How are you doing in the last minute? And you get the last minute. Stress. <laughs> Very stress. Do you think you're going to win? Fingers crossed. Hopeful. Good luck. How are you doing? Pretty good. Just um, <laughs> getting really the last stuff in. Uh, so, but that's why I continue. That's always. Uh, we always need more time, but we're never done. So. And do you think you are going? To win? Of course. Otherwise, you should not compete. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, we're doing great. We're just finalizing our report. Um, Better to get going over our bugs, and now we're about to finish repairing our stuff to finish. I'm good, thank you. We just need the last two bugs being raised, numbers, and in here, and then um, we're good to send this through. So you look, you look very confident. <laughs> no, not at all. It was quite exciting, and um, I think we are. Uh, Every, I think everyone was like looking at the clock as you were doing the last few things. Yeah, exactly. We submitted ours and went, actually we could have added another sentence, I don't know about anyone else. If you had to think fast, act fast, everything was just super agile, hence it's an agile testing conference. Um, it was our first time here from South Africa, but it was extremely exciting, very fast paced, like you're sitting at the edge of your seats almost the entire time, just wishing for a little bit more time. We, we did, yeah, we logged 22 bugs, so let's see how it goes. The app didn't crash at all, which was fantastic, because the first, the, fir the very first uh, preliminary round that we did, um, the app crashed within um, less than five minutes. So it was completely uh, a wash, and it actually didn't even allow users, uh, or people in the competition, to even log any bugs. So it was, uh, it was nice to actually have something that was stable, and you could actually run it without it crashing. Well, yeah, and, and it does this and this and this, and I said, how are you going to test it? Are you going to get a cab? And it's like, yeah, it's actually parked out front. We're going to bring it around later. And I went, you're <laughs> kidding. <laughs> and it's like, okay. But Hello, I'm Pete Whalen. We are at Software Testing World Cup final wrap-up for 2016, part of Agile Testing Days. And sitting next to me are four distinguished gentlemen, the newly minted world champions of software testing. This is the Pangalactic Gargle Blasters. <laughs> What do you think about the results? You okay with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First, the, the, yeah, the yeah. result is okay. But yeah, we won, so okay. yeah, it's okay. We only got 10 minutes instead of three hours. I don't know why. It felt like 10 minutes. Yeah. But I thought we were very good, and I felt very good about the uh, about stuff we did. So yeah, but it was also very... But, uh, because for, you design for perfection, and every time it's, oh. we want to be better, so I have the... Uh, that's my goal, at least. Well, actually, my my session started very poor because I couldn't get my uh, hack tools working. The proxy, I couldn't get proxy, I couldn't get transport stuff, I couldn't decompile. 
So I had to shift gears and I started just testing the, the front end with a, a security and, and a software design or a software developer hat. And we got some great bugs, really. Oh, the, the first mind map uh, uh, we drawn on the board is what the information we got from uh, mail and what the PO says and the answers uh, to the yeah. questions. And after that, the first session we do, the first 30 minutes, is a survey session. Go and look at the product from your technical, from the, the GUI, and from the uh, usability part. And after that, we get an idea of the first 30 minutes uh, of the software, and then we can fill in the mind map more in the, in the uh, mega stand-up, mini stand-up uh, yeah. uh, behind the session, and then we can discuss who is doing what. But for me, it was a really, um, uh, it was just felt like two seconds. So much going on, so much stuff we want to do, and we're. We definitely rehearsed the, the, the time slot every slot of a half hour, and then we're syncing together if we can to, to get it up and running so for, for what we want, the test talk we want to do, and that is so helpful for us to um, because at the report you want certain stages to be filled in, and every time was okay. We need to synchronize, need to synchronize, and it definitely helped us in the results. All thought we at the end, I thought forgot this. We would sort of on what regression forgot. We had some additional search forgotten. There's so many stuff we thought was forgotten, and therefore we were not that happy when we left. But if you now look back, also other teams forgot a lot of stuff. So that's for us, it's cool.